We are getting ready for Thanksgiving this week, and we have a great dish for you from a great chef. Chef Jason Smith, you probably know him from Food Network Star or Holiday Baking Championship. He won both of those, and now he is sharing his secret to a great Thanksgiving dish. How are you getting ready for Thanksgiving? Because I know in our house, we usually have a 20 to 25 people here. It's just going to be our family this year. My husband, me, and our two children. So people are scaling it back. How are you going to be celebrating Thanksgiving? Well, you know, Thanksgiving is going to be different this year. You know, we're used to having those big, huge crowds. We can't have that many this year. But as I say, with the food, honey, there is no sense in scaling it back. Because listen, I don't care if you've got four people or 40 in your house, honey. <laughs> It's one of those things, the more food, the better, because you've got to have those leftovers for the next day, honey. That's just the way it is. Yes, the leftovers are the best. So what are you going to make for us today? So today we're talking about cranberries. And cranberries is one of my favorite things at Thanksgiving, and actually Christmas too. But, you know, cranberries get such a bad rap because people are like, oh, I don't want nothing with cranberries because they're used to the cranberry sauce in the can. Then we had as a child, and you poured it out, and you had those lines on, and you cut it, and it was a big round blob of cranberry. But now we have, yeah, and it's it's all that gel and all that stuff, which I always loved it. But you know, cranberries are coming around now because we eat them with savory food, we put them in sweet food. But I'm doing a what I call new South cranberry salad. Now my mom years ago used to make the cranberry salad it had like celery in it and walnuts in it, or pecans in it and uh, you know, apples and stuff like that. Well, that's kind of a take on this, but redone in a new way that you can use this for, you know, your dinner table to eat with the savory, or you could serve it as a dessert, either one. So it kind of goes both ways. And cranberries is one of the things you've got to give them a try. So in my bowl here, what I have is fresh cranberries that I cook down with a little ginger and some brown sugar and water. And I already cooked those down and they just get real thick, as you can see. They're just super, super thick. It's almost like a salad, almost, or a sauce, or a relish, whatever you want to call it. Well, here is the new kicker, is marshmallow fluff. And marshmallow oh, wow. fluff is one of my favorite things in the world because we all know it. We all use it in our fudge. And if you're a good Southerner like myself and Jennifer, we all know that we love some good old fudge in the South. So good old fudge starts with marshmallow cream and all that, but... Why not put it up in your cranberry too? I mean, they gotta have a little sweetness. They got some brown sugar, but they're not super sweet with the brown sugar. So this brings in a little bit more sweetness and you just wanna stir it together. And I don't know if you like cranberries as good as I do, but I like dried cranberries. I like fresh cranberries. I like canned cranberries. Honey, this cranberry, I like it. So. I like, I like cranberries, but my husband doesn't because I said, I want to do a cranberry relish for, you know, Thanksgiving. He's yeah. like, I don't like, I don't want anything, any cranberries. So uh, maybe I can win him over though with your recipe. Well, the whole thing here too, is there is a little bit of raspberry gelatin in here oh. after you take it off the stove. And so that really changes that sour note of the raspberry into a sweet or a cranberry. It changes it over into a sweeter profile. And I just think that we're all so used to that cranberry in a can, and that's what turned everybody against. Then I have some walnuts. Now, if you don't like walnuts, you can use pecans. Now, there's a difference in a pecan. A pecan is a nut. A pecan is the thing you put under the bed to pee in at nighttime. So make sure that you get them straight. So, But I love walnuts in this, and I'm just going to add about half of those in there. And then I have some mandarin oranges. These are just hand mandarin oranges. If you want to use a fresh orange, just make sure you peel it. Well, I mean, unless you like the peeling on it. I mean, it's up to you. But, uh, and then we have some apple here. And we're just going to put that in there. And then we're just going to stir it all together. And this is really good with ham. I love to eat this with ham. I love it with turkey. I love it with even grilled chicken. Um, you know, in the summertime, you can make this as well and add like some fresh mango in here and it takes it to a whole new level, honey. It just makes it the best thing you've ever seen in your life. So it's that easy. And then once you get it all mixed up and you just put it into your serving bowl, I mean, it's ready to serve as is, but look at that beautiful color. You know, that's what I like about it is that wonderful um, as I call it, almost a light mahogany. It probably looks a little pink there on the screen, but it's more, you know, like a light mahogany. 
And then you take the rest of those walnuts and you just sprinkle them on the top and the table. And if you think you need a bite or two of them while you're fixing it, just eat you a bite or two of them. Because, you know, that's the best thing about being a cook. You get to taste everything while you're cooking it. So uh, Definitely. <laughs> that is always the best part. And then once you get the, the walnuts on there, I mean, you're ready to go to the dinner table with this or the buffet, or you can set it in the refrigerator until you're ready. You can even make this the day before. So it's a quick, easy cranberry dish that's gonna change everybody from saying, I don't like cranberries to when are you gonna fix that the next time? As I say, the hog is gonna kick the dog out of the way to get to this, cause it's good, honey. It's really, really good. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, so where can people catch you? What are you up to these days? Are you working on anything fun? So, of course, during all the corona, we're not being able to film much with the network. So we do have a show that we did get filmed in between some things. I'm on Christmas Cookie Challenge, which is on April Monday night at 10. And they swap us out like one week I'm on, then the next week my friend Gazina Prado's on. So you kind of have to watch it every week to catch me on there. And then, of course, uh, you can catch me every Wednesday night on Instagram Live. I do a cooking show every Wednesday night right here from my kitchen. And then I have a new YouTube channel, a YouTube channel, say that about 50 million times, uh, that all the videos from season one of Country Blank Cooking Show and the season two that we're in now go on there so people can find it on there. And then, of course, you can always get this great recipe and all my other great recipes on my website at southerncountrybling.com. I mean, we have the apparel, we sell bunt cakes, we ship them to your door. Girl, you gotta get your recipes. I mean, we have everything in the world. I mean, I am not just a chef anymore. It's an entrepreneurship and it's one of those things that, you know, I love my, I lo I've always loved everything I do, but you know, now I'm kind of, you know, really branching out. We're working on cookbooks. Uh, we have some other fun stuff coming out as far as products and things like that. So there's a lot going on, honey. There, in these walls where I've been wearing my pajama pants and these crazy jackets, you know, we've been planning a lot, getting a lot done for all this. So, but yeah. Just I, I have my sweatpants on right now. I can't, I can't show you, but I'm, I am right there with you. We wish you all the best and happy Thanksgiving. Well, happy Thanksgiving, girl. All you got to do is give me a shout. We'll get on here and cook anytime. I'm, I'm yours anytime you need. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much.